Hi everyone, Mrs. Rank is here. We're gonna talk a little bit about social studies today. If we were in school, one of the things that we would be talking about is the three branches of government. The first branch is the legislative branch. That means they're in charge of making the laws for our country. Um, people who are in the legislative branch, they're voted in and Congress consists of the House of Representatives and the Senate. The executive branch is making sure that those laws are being obeyed. The head of the executive branch is the president. Other people that are involved in this branch is the vice president, the military, and the third branch is the judicial branch. Um, think about judicial, judge. Um, they're in charge of deciding the meaning of those laws and whether the laws of the Constitution were broken. Constitution's the whole set of laws that we have to follow and our rights um, as a citizen of our country. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the judicial branch. And then it goes down from there all the way down to just um, your city court, town court, um, today, I wanted to read a book. This has facts, a little bit of a biography um, about that executive branch, and it's the little president. I thought this was great because there are 45 presidents, or have been 45 presidents, um, long, long time ago. Presidents could just continue to be presidents, and they didn't think that that was right. They didn't want a um, monarchy, like a king. Once you're king, you're king forever. They wanted somebody to serve um, for a period of time. So the president serves for four years. They have to be voted in. After four years, they can run again. They cannot run after eight years then their time's up. But I, they have to be voted. Um, everybody who's 18 or older can vote if you're a citizen of our country. So let's learn about some of those presidents that we have had. The Little President by Joan Holub and Daniel Rode. Leading our country, helping you and me, keeping all 50 states safe, happy, and free. Little presidents have a great big job. This little president flew flags red, white, and blue. He was our first leader when this nation was new. Anyone know who this is? George Washington was the first president of the United States of America. little president led with wisdom and care when the White House was built he was first to live there does anyone know who this is John Adams was also the first vice president so he was the first vice president then became president so think about it he if you're going in chronological order he was president after George Washington which means George Washington never lived in the White House, which is in Washington, D.C. This little president was super duper smart. He liked buildings, inventions, books, fossils, and art. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. So when we became independent from England, this was the important document back in 1776. This little president was honest as can be. He kept our states united and set people free. Who's this? He was tall, with a beard. He's on some money. Abraham Lincoln was the tallest president and the first one to wear a beard. That's interesting. 
He helped um, our country during the Civil War when our country was fighting um, with each other, the North versus South. And he helped um, set the slaves free, saying that that's not right. This little president could really horseback ride. He was a brave general with patriotic pride. Ulysses S. Grant made Christmas a federal holiday. This little president was a cowboy ranch hand. He made national parks and preserved forest land. Theodore Roosevelt inspired a candy store owner to sell toy bears called Teddy Bears. Theodore, Teddy is short for Theodore. That's like his nickname. This little president told people not to fear. He gave jobs to Americans, which made them all cheer. Franklin D. Roosevelt was the first president in a wheelchair. When he was younger, he had a sickness called polio, which took the strength in his legs. So he needed a wheelchair. He was also a distant relative to Theodore Roosevelt. This little president was had heart, style, and grace. He sent our first astronaut into outer space. So this was in the 1960s. John F. Kennedy was the youngest president ever elected. This little president was once a movie star. He brought the world together, both near and far. Ronald Reagan was the oldest president ever elected. This is probably somebody you know. This little president is a family man. When others say we can't, he declares, yes, we can. Barack Obama is the first African-American president of the United States of America. So he was able to serve two terms, which means he was president for eight years. Anything can happen in the USA. Hey, maybe you'll be president someday. So these are all our past presidents, starting with George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and then continuing all the way on, all the way. Millard Fillmore, right here. He has a Buffalo connection. He grew up in East Aurora. There's a hospital named after him, Millard Fillmore Suburban. Here's Abraham Lincoln. Here is um, Grover Cleveland. He has another Buffalo connection. He used to be the uh, mayor of the city of Buffalo then continued on to be the governor of New York State. And then right after that, he became president of the United States of America. Um, continuing on, some names that you may recognize. Oh, if you notice, you see Grover Cleveland's on there twice. That's because he served his four-year term ran again, did not get elected. This guy, people didn't like him very much, so after the four years, Grover Cleveland ran again and became president. So that's actually the first president that was um, served his two terms, not consecutively, meaning not in a row. Right here is William McKinley. We have a high school in Buffalo named after him. Unfortunately, in 1901, 
during the Pan American Exposition, which was um, like a world fair celebrating electricity from the Niagara Falls. It was really amazing. Um, he came and somebody um, shot him. So he was assassinated. So a little sad story there. He's buried in Forest Lawn, which is a cemetery. There's Teddy Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, let's see, Hoover. He helped um, start the building of the Hoover Dam, which we talked a little bit about during science, during social studies. Here's John F. Kennedy. Um, Jimmy Carter. What would you ask Funny him? story my grandpa told me I was related to him. What about I was last, not. What was the last guy? He had me going. Who's the last guy? Ronald Reagan. Um, George H.W. Bush. Bill Clinton. George W. Bush. W. So the two Bushes. This was the dad, this was the son. Barack Obama and Donald Trump is our current president. Voting takes place in November. So we'll see if Donald Trump gets elected again or if it will be somebody else. We'll wait and see.